Hello. Hello. And welcome to another Ponage tutorial. Not another Ponage tutorial, but <clears throat> the first ever Ponage tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make somebody else's Mac computer say stuff using the terminal command say. Um, right now, I'm just going to show you how to do that command. So, first you open up terminal, okay? And with that open, you go into there and then you type in say, and then type in whatever you want the computer to say. Let's just go with hello world because that seems like uh, the conventional thing to do. So, type in say, then do a space, and then type in whatever you want uh, your computer to say, and then press enter. Hello world. As you can see, um, this works wonderfully, and um, it's, you know, not very useful. <coughs> not very useful on its own, because honestly, what are you going to do with that command? Um, but, if you were to remotely do that command on somebody else's Mac computer, it would uh, scare them scare the crap out of them. So, what I'm going to do is teach you how to do exactly that. So, first of all, um, you need two computers. Uh, one of them a Mac computer and the other one could either be a Linux computer or a Mac computer or a virtual machine Linux computer and uh, that would be running in Windows because Windows does not have a terminal application but Linux and Mac do. So, um, now we're assuming that this computer is the computer that you are going to be uh, administering the prank on. So, the first thing you need to do, oh, uh, one, one little side note, you need to know the administrative password of, for the computer that you're going to play the prank on. So, uh, I know the administrative password because this is my computer. So, now you click on the little Apple symbol and go to System Preferences. Okay, now with System Preferences open, uh, click on Sharing. Okay, then from there, well, that would be unchecked. Okay, then from there, you go to remote login and then you check it now I've already I've already um, done the remote login before so it's not gonna ask me for my administrative password but uh, when you're doing this it is gonna ask you for the administrative password so now you're gonna wanna remember this right there you're gonna wanna remember that okay anyway so remember this right there the uh, name at well dot dot at dot dot just remember that you know what I mean don't remember that remember whatever it says right there you don't really need to remember the SSH part so uh, oh better yet remember everything after the SSH part okay so now that you have that close down system preferences and get onto your other computer. Okay, so now I'm inside of Linux. Uh, DSL, DS, damn small Linux to be precise. Now you open up terminal and type uh, what I told you to remember. Well, first you type SSH and then type what I told you to remember. Now press enter and give it a minute. Right now it's trying to establish a connection, I believe. Okay. Um since I've done this before, I already went past um a process which it didn't show, and that is it asked you to type yes or no and you would type yes. 
Anyway, so now it's asking me for a password. This would be the administrative password of the computer that you are going to be uh, pranking, if you will. So type that in. And there you go. Now I am logged in to the computer that I'm going to be pranking. So now I can issue that command. Say, let me out of here. Let me out of here. I hope you heard that. See, from my Linux computer, I made my MacBook say that, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me. Uh, not only can you, um, well, aside from say, Aside from the command say, you can do other commands like moving files around and stuff remotely, but that's not as fun as uh, making somebody else's computer say stuff from across a home network or across the internet. I haven't tested across the internet, but I'm pretty sure that this will work from across the internet. So, um, it, it, you know, it's really fun to do. If, if you're bored, uh, somewhere and there's a Mac computer that you know the administrative password. Do this and you know you can pull a great prank on people. So as for now, goodbye. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section of this YouTube video. And if you have any requests for further tutorials, email me at, uh, you know what, I I'm going to show the email address in the, uh, the YouTube, you know, the YouTube box thingy to the, to the left of the video, or, no, no, to the right of the video, to the right of the video should be the email address that you could email me with using the internet. Anyway, so, this has been the first uh, tutorial, ponage tutorial, and see you later. Bye.